Imagine your team made it to the grand final, only to be obliterated by over 70 points. For fans of the GWS Giants and Western Bulldogs, this was their sad reality. The 2019 grand final was the Giants' chance to win the club's first ever premiership, a chance that would go untaken. Jeremy Cameron set the Giants alight with a booming set shot from outside 50. He's got it! Something that Dustin Martin took offence to. He responded with his own goal, a snap around the body that sent the Richmond crowd into a frenzy. Daniel Rioli joined in on the party with a long bomb from 50 right on the quarter time siren. Richmond were now in front by seven points. Suddenly, Thanos snapped. And for the next hour, 22 GWS players vanished. And Richmond scored 11 goals in a row. Solo to pick it. Whoa, what about that? Body contact. He kept the body free. The pickup's unbelievable. That's a play of the game. That is the play of the game. On that occasion, picked up Brian Rioli. Creative handball to Martin. Martin stepped around the goal. Marlon Pickett lines up. When Giants players finally resurfaced, they awoke to a 62-point deficit. Fed up with Richmond's bullying, Jacob Hopper swooped up the ball, slammed it on his boot, and watched it sail through the big sticks. GWS went into their three-quarter time huddle with only 19 points on the scoreboard, the lowest in grand final history, since Collingwood managed just 12 points in 1960. Harry Himmelberg's early fourth quarter goal gave the Giants a glimmer of hope, but that hope faded quickly. His goal would be the Giants' last. When the siren sounded, the smiles of Richmond players overshadowed the cries of GWS players and thousands of Giants fans across the country. They had lost by 89 points. They had let everyone down. Jack Rewalt may have outscored the entire Giants team, but you know what his team couldn't do? Go from 6th place on the ladder to an AFL Grand Final. The Giants' total score of 25 points didn't matter. They had done their club proud, whether they knew it or not. Let's time travel two years into the future, to the year 2021. Good bounce to... The Western Bulldogs play Melbourne in the grand final with the hope to relive their 2016 glory and clinch their second premiership in the modern era. Christian Petrarca grabbed the grand final by its throat, kicking a huge drop hunt from beyond 50 to give the Demons an early lead. Bailey Fritch wanted in on the action and he did so with a strong mark over Easton Wood before bagging Melbourne's second goal. You may think the Bulldogs were down and out, but you'd be wrong. Rourke Smith broke the Bulldogs' silence with a clever ground ball collect before dribbling it through the goals. But the Bulldogs' struggle continued, and at one point they found themselves down 29-8. to But just like an angry Bulldog, the team chewed their way through the huge deficit. Perfect start, Dogs! Got to walk through. Trelaw again! Two in the turn! Now the lower ball. Norton at the back in the front was bottom belly. That may be four goals to one in the second. Approaching half-time, both teams were closely matched, with the Bulldogs holding on to a slim one-point lead. Marcus Bontempelli extended that lead by marking the ball inside 50 and slotting his set shot. The second half began with Jason Johannesson leaping for a remarkable specky right on the goal line before adding to the Bulldogs' tally. Shortly after, Bontempelli scored his third goal of the match and the Dogs led by 19. But that was about to change. It all started when Max Gorn dropped an easy mark near the boundary line and was subsequently tackled out of bounds by Caleb Daniel. But Daniel made the fatal mistake of slinging Gorn headfirst into the hard Optus Stadium turf. The entire Melbourne team had just witnessed an 168 centimetre defender manhandle their 208 centimetre Rockman. That's all they needed him to do, and it became personal with them. The Demons carried out one of the most remarkable scoring sprees in grand final history, amassing 43 points in just 10 minutes. Long one into space, friction, the best position possible. Oliver, here they come, Petrarca, long ball, Fritsch over the back, recovers and goals, he kicks it, Fritsch has got four, crowd's gone man. Long ball, pick it at the back, Petrarca, Petrarca. 
Petrarca. Oh, man. How good is that? Handball to Oliver. Streaming through. Bang. Bang, bang, bang. While the Bulldogs, well, they wouldn't score for the rest of the quarter. Melbourne had just given the 61,000 strong crowd an AFL masterclass in how to absolutely dominate a team. The final quarter saw the Demons continue their dominance, kicking 57 points to the Bulldogs 7. This grand final was record breaking, that's for sure. The Demons scored 101 points in the second half, making it the most dominant second half in grand final history. Christian Petrarca equaled the record for most disposals in a grand final, Bailey Fritsch became the only player in the 21st century to kick six goals in a grand final. To this day, Bulldogs fans are left contemplating what could have been had Caleb Daniel left Max Gorn alone.